We've been running quite well uh, everywhere we've gone this year. You have really a little bit of an advantage this year on the short tracks that you did not have in years past. Is that right? Well, yeah, we've got a slight advantage. We don't have all the factory cars that we've had in the past, but still we've got a good field of race cars, and Pearson and Isaac and Petty and Allison and Fred Lorenzen come down here for the race, so we still got a real fast field of cars. You do a lot of your own mechanical work too, don't you? Yes, I do. I do every bit of my work, mechanical work and all the car tooling from the racetracks and drive it when we're here. Now, you actually have more responsibility than most drivers have. How do you hand-peck your crew? Well, uh, I don't have much of a crew right now. I just got one boy help me, and then, of course, on race day, I got four men that come on race day, and uh, they've been doing some real good work for me this year. Uh, they're the men that used to work with Ken Rush on his GT car, and we've had some real good pit stops. Is it tough to find a good mechanic to work for you? Ah, uh, yes, it is, really, because an independent like myself can't afford to pay them real top wages that they should hit. And the wages, really, along the circuit are pretty good, aren't they? Yes, they are. Uh, you got to pay a man good. He's, he's on the road all week long, and you don't get to go home and stuff like that, so uh, it takes some pretty good money to keep him working for you. How do you keep yourself mentally prepared with the responsibility of owning the car, keeping the car in shape, and driving? Well, I don't know. I just... Uh, we got so much work we have to do, and we just do it and try and get ready for every race as good as we can and just leave it go at that.